Uh, good evening and welcome to our regular board meeting. It is January 23rd. We are reconvening from closed session, Mr. Weiler. At this time, there are no announcements to make. The board, in consideration of the public, was not able to complete the closed session. Um, there will be a motion to continue the closed session uh, to after item P, as in Paul, in the agenda. And after that closed session, we will make an announcement, if relevant, as to action taken in closed session. Thank you. And for the record, Ms. Aguilar joined our meeting at 5.35 in closed session. Um, we can get a motion to reconvene our closed session after item P from someone from the board. Make a motion to continue closed session to item P and reconvene at that time. From Ms. Aguilar to, recon to continue our closed session after item P on our agenda. Do we have a second? I'll second that. We have a second from Mr. Calderon. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries 4 0. Thank you. Moving on with tonight's agenda, tonight's meeting, we have presentations. Next on our agenda, Ms. Sambris. Yes, good evening trustees and community. Uh, t it's always a special time when we can recognize uh, the accomplishments of our students and our staff. And tonight is no exception when we recognize Mr. Javier Rodriguez, who uh, was recognized as Coach of the Year by the Imperial Valley Press for um, the tennis team, the girls' tennis team. And we also would like to take the opportunity to recognize our varsity girls tennis team who um, was very successful this season and made it to CIF and they were also and also another accomplishment for all of our young ladies is that they were all of our varsity uh, team members uh, were made made it to the all valley team so congratulations to our tennis team our young ladies <laughs> and which one of our boys So do we have Coach Rodriguez here? Come on up. <laughs> Another thing that I didn't mention for Coach Rodriguez's accomplishments with, with his tennis team is that they were undefeated, undefeated Imperial Valley League champions. So congratulations. And I will have Mr. Um, Rodriguez present the certificates to his uh, team. The first young lady is Mary Lee. <laughs> Mariel Vizcarra. Please stay up here so we can take a group picture in a, in a couple moments. Samantha Reese. Mariel Avila. No, she's not here. Okay, she's not here today. Alejandra Alonso. Terry Vargas. Liz Vizcarra. <laughs> Ana Fernanda Lizárraga. <laughs> and Nayeli Marrón. So on behalf of our board and our district, congratulations to our young ladies and our wonderful coach, and we'll have them take a team picture, and we hope that 
these successes continue as we go forward in our ensuing seasons. Thank you. The two young ladies that just <laughs> arrived. Mariel Avila. <laughs> and <laughs> Alejandra Alonso. Team effort. It's okay. <laughs> 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 So I ask that our tennis team not leave because right after our student presentations, uh, we have a small cake, so please don't leave. Okay, we're going to begin with our, our student presentations, uh, beginning with uh, the representative from Aurora High School, Amanda Algraves. Um, good evening. Today I'm gonna to start with Aurora's bulletin board. January Friday 17 was free dress for those who had perfect attendance. January 21, Aurora Eagles Nest students gathered together to decide ideas for Valentine's Spirit Week and adopting a park or painting graffitied walls. January Wednesday 22, Aurora High School had an SSC slash, slash ELAC meeting. January Wednesday 29, a financial aid technician from the IVC will be coming to Aurora to assist seniors with their FAFSA application. January Friday 31st, students who had perfect attendance and student of the month will have free dress. And that's it for January's bulletin board. All right, thank you. For Calexico High School, Frida Castro. Hi, well, good evening. Uh, I'll be having the Calexico High School agenda. The new semester has started. Our homecoming court has been elected. Our homecoming queen is Nancy Clark. Homecoming princess, uh, Patricia Salazar. Junior princess, Alejandra Alexandra Herrera. Sophomore princess, Daniela de la Paz. We'll be having our outside prep rally tomorrow. It's Wipeout with Fear Factor Challenge. Our Spirit Week will be from February the 3rd to February the 7th. Winter, winter Homecoming team is the Oscars. Our pep, pep assembly will be on February the, February the 7th. Homecoming dance will be February 8th. Classico cheerleaders competed at Viejas Arena this past Sunday. They won first place and are going to nationals in March. Our basketball girls and boys won the first league game against Raleigh. Uh, girls soccer have won two games, tied one and lost one. Boys soccer are in first league games. That's it, they're undefeated. Thank you. For Calexico High School's ninth grade campus, Mariela Lopez. And I think someone else is representing her tonight. Yeah, I'm representing her today. Uh, Gabriel Peña. Peña. Um, I'm representing Calexico High School, ninth grade campus. Um, I'd like to start off by uh, saying that our new semester started off by opening our student store for the first time, where we sell healthy uh, snacks approved by California State. 
Uh, we have new charity fundraisers coming up. We have Pennies for Pasta, where students collect uh, change for cancer patients. Uh, the students with the most change at the end of the deadline get a pasta party donated from Olive Garden. Uh, we have already started off this week with Teens for Jeans Charity Fund, where students donate their used jeans. And that's just all we have for right now. From Enrique Camarena, we have student representative Mario Sosoya. Um, good evening, my name is Gerardo Peralta and I'm the Enrique Camarena ASB representative. First of all, Happy New Year to everyone on behalf of all the students and staff at Enrique Camarena Junior High School. The Firebird, the Firebird coin war kicked off in all the classrooms at Enrique Camarena on Monday, January 13th. It is sponsored by ASB in an effort to collect funds for student activities. The 7th grade and 8th grade classes that collect the most coins will receive a pizza party. A group of our students intend, attended the Imperial Valley College IVROP Career Day, which took place on Thursday, January 16th. The students who were in attendance were very excited about the presentations and activities regarding different careers. Our general parent meeting and student of the month recognition celebration was held on Wednesday, January 22nd at 5.30 p.m. Students of the month across the different content areas were recognized. The multipurpose room was packed with parents and students excited about receiving the recognition and awards. Our very much anticipated first club day of 2014 will take place on Friday, January 31st. All clubs and departments will be selling goodies. ASB will be having a DJ during the event. Our accelerated reader reward luncheon will be held at the end of the month. All students who reach their area goal will be invited to a pizza luncheon during lunch sponsored by our ASB. Students who reach 85% of their goal or higher will also be getting getting cupcakes. We thank our ASB students and ASB advisor Michelle Lund for, support, for supporting all academic incentives. Our ASB Queen of Hearts dance will be held on Friday, Feb February 15th from 5 to 8 p.m. We will be crowning our new 8th grade King and Queen of Hearts and 7th grade Prince and Princess of Hearts. Our fourth annual Enrique Camarena Junior High School Spelling Bee competition will also be taking place in February. All the students in Enrique Camarena will compete in the preliminary round. Our finalists form from all the language arts classes will then compete in the regional spelling bee final held in March. The, re the winner at the regional spelling bee final will go on to compete at the national spelling bee final in Washington, D.C. Thank you. And your last name was Peralta, right? Thank you. And for Willy Moreno, we have a student representative, Axel Lopez. Good, af Good afternoon. My name is um, Axel Lopez. I'm the ASB representative of Willy Moreno Junior High School. Uh, it is my prayer pleasure to be here with you and share our upcoming and past um, events from our school. During the month of December, we will have a toy drive in which we collected about 10 bags of filled with toys for needed children. The, toy were, the toys were donated to a charity group called Las Hormigas de Jesus. Um, Led by Director Ruby Garcia, he he told us that all the children that received the toys, we were very happy to have a, a great great Christmas during the month during the month of December. We also had a door decorating contest um, on December 19th. We had a fabulous club day in which many clubs participated in selling many things. Students have a great time listening to music, playing playing the candy cane passing game and eating a, a lot of delicious food sold by our clubs on, a com on our campus. We are happy to have the Aztec Sound Avid Yearbook History Library and United Nations Club on campus. 
On January 23rd, we will be having our Aztec Maya run for both 8th and 7th grade boys and girls. We will be tempting them to see who are the top winners of the Maya run. The high school coach will be coming to observe our runners. We had our A. 100 students participating in this event. We will announce the winners in our next meeting. The Aztec Sound Band Club is starting to sell Valentine's grams to students on our campus for $3. Students will be receiving candies and a card for their friends, admirers, or special someone. ASB will begin promoting our Air Postal Gene Drive will be collected jeans for our students who donate them. We will try we will we are trying to help the district reach the top goal. Students who donate their jeans that they no longer wear, we receive a we receive a free dress pass for for our school as a part of a promotion of school students to participate in the activity. We will, will, will the sum up our current events on campus. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me. I hope you have a great evening. It, it has been my pleasure as William Moreno Junior High, high, junior high School um, is very representative to be right here tonight. Thank you. Okay, Axel, Axel, go ahead and come back. We're going to ha go ahead and have you uh, read the biographies for the students of the month for your school. So we will start tonight recognizing Jose Gonzalez Covarrubias. Oh. Is he here tonight? Um, parents, name, parents name of Jose um, Gonzalez, Jose Manuel Gonzalez Covarrubias. V. Veronica, GPA 4.0. What is your favorite subject? Science. What is your favorite food? Lasagna. What is what is his favorite color? Blue. What is your favorite music? Classic. What is your dream car? La Lamborghini. What place in the world would you like to visit? M.T. Rushmore and the Grand Canyon. What do you want to be when you grow up? A scientist? What college do you want to go to? IVC? Who is role model? Albert Einstein? Um, there. And the second student to be recognized for Willie Moreno tonight is Juliana Fimbres. She's not here. She's not here. Go ahead and read her her biography. Um, parents' names: Dad, Julio Fimbres, Mom, Veronica Fimbres, and GPA 4.0. What is it? What is his favorite subject? Um, geometry. What is your favorite food? Sushi. What is your favorite color? Um, pink. Um, what is what is her favorite music? Classical music. What is your favorite dream? As, as long as she gets a car. <laughs> what place in the world would she like to visit? Paris and China. What is her favorite? What do you want to be when she grow up? The president of the United States. Um, and Juliana will be participating participating in La Voz Kids. Um, we wish her the best of luck and hope she goes far in the competition and represent Calexico. Mr. Velez. One more thing that she just completed round one and she was selected to compete in round two which she will be traveling to in February. So Great, thank you. For Enrique Camarena, could we have Mr. Peralta back?
And the first student to be recognized from Enrique Camarena tonight is Manuel San Pedro. Uh, Manuel, Manuel San Pedro is an eighth grader. He is the son of Manuel San Pedro and Yahaira Garza. His hobbies are playing basketball, swimming, studying, video games, and watching movies. His favorite subject is math. When he graduates, he would like to be a plastic surgeon. He would like to thank his teachers, his family, and his friends because they have helped him in his life by teaching him new things. And also from Enrique Camarena, Dariana Marquez, with your parents. Dariana Marquez is an eighth grader. She is the son of Humberto Marquez and Patricia Samudio. Her hobbies are playing soccer, watching TV, playing softball, and watching movies. Her favorite, hi her favorite subject is history. When she graduates, she would like to be a special ed teacher. She would like to thank her mom and dad. She would like to thank her mom and dad because they know what is best for her and always give her advice. From Calexico's ninth grade campus, we have uh, Mariela Lopez. No, I'm sorry, David Castro. David Castro is the son of David Marcia Lopez. Uh, his favorite subject is math and PE. When he grows up, he wants to attend the universe, University of Stanford. And he likes their sports there and he likes the atmosphere inside the college. He plans on majoring in nuclear engineering. He has always been interested in things containing nuclear. And if he could change something in the world, he would want to have peace and no more wars. And also from Colexico High School's ninth grade campus, Michelle Del Bosque. Her parents are Ruben Del Bosque and Ruth Bojorquez. Her favorite subject is computer applications because she likes using the computer and learning about them. She likes how the teacher explains and she believes the class is funny. She loves the project that they make in the class. The college she plans on attending is San Diego State University because she loves San Diego and she loves how they teach. Her favorite subject and she plans on majoring in is English. And she, the way she would want to change the, our world is by changing global warming because she loves the world. Thank you. And we have Ms. Frida Castro from Colexico High School. And the first student to be recognized from Colexico High School tonight is Richard Dante Castro. He's not here today. Go ahead and read his bio. <laughs> okay. In 12th grade, 12th grade, current GPA 4.5, clubs APYL, CSF, ASB Leadership Club, Art Club. He aspires to attend a four-year college university, then transfer to a private school to study law or medicine. The favorite things about Colexico High School is, is the people at CHS are filled with personalities that you will never find somewhere else. Special thanks, he would like to thank his family, his friends, and f for bothering him so much that he prefers to do his homework. <laughs> and now for the young lady from Colexico High School, Mariel Vizcarra. Also one of our tennis players. Uh, 12th grade, current GPA, 4.33. Sports, tennis, basketball, track and field. Plans for the future, she, plan she plans to graduate from college, find a steady job, and if possible, come back to Calexico and help in the community. She really enjoys the sports program at CHS. Also, she likes uh, the environment and the type of people that you find in the high school. She gives special thanks to, his, to her parents, her coaches, her teachers, and all those people in the community who have encouraged her to be a better student and athlete. 
Thank you. Ms. Algraves from Aurora High School. And the first student to be recognized from Aurora is Kevin Garcia. No, he said he was too shy. Yeah. Um, I asked him a few questions and the first one was, what would he like to work as? I'm not sure yet, but I know I'll be sure once I go to college to see what I like. What college are you planning to go? I plan to attend IVC. What are your favorite hobbies? Baseball is one of my favorite hobbies. What do you like about Aurora High School? What I like about Aurora High School is the staff because they are patients. What do you do during your free time? During my free time, I like listening to music. If you had one wish, what would that wish be? I wish to be rich. How do you feel that soon you'll graduate from Aurora High School? It feels pretty cool. And also from Aurora High School, Vanessa Peraza. No, she didn't come in. Yeah, she didn't come I know. <laughs> All right. What would you like to work as? I'd like to be a registered nurse. Are you planning to go to college? Yes, I plan to go to IVC. What are your favorite hobbies? One of my favorite hobbies is to read books. What do you like about Aurora High School? What I like about my school is that the teachers are nice and caring. What do you do during your free time? During my free time, I go and hang out with my friends. If you had one wish, what would that wish be? I wish to have a 1964 Mustang. How do you feel that soon you'll graduate from Aurora High School? Good, because I got a second chance to graduate with a high school diploma. That's it. Thank you. Okay, well thank you for all of the wonderful presentations. What we will have is about about 10 minutes so that we can enjoy some cake and coffee and then we will resume with the board meeting. Thank you. Of course, the tennis girls too.